He was heckled, booed, threatened while on the chair, books thrown at him. And his orders were blatantly ignored. This was the National Assembly Speaker Justin Muturi under siege on Thursday. The end, which was the passage of the Security Laws Amendment Bill 2014, which President Uhuru Kenyatta signed into law on Friday. Opinion is still divided on who is to blame for the meltdown. Sisi tulikuwa katika ile Grand Coalition Government, ambaye ilikuwa na shida mingi. Kibaki anaandika barua, Raila anaandika barua, Speaker sasa Marende anashindwa. Nitafanya nini? Lakini alisimama imara paka anatoa uamuzi paka nchi yote inakubali inasema this is a solomonic conclusion. Ukweli kulipigano, lakini ingetaka Kenya muzima ijue. Desperate times cause for desperate measures. Kwa wakati ule hakuna language nyingine wangeelewa. The seat of the Speaker of the National Assembly has witnessed numerous assaults recently. Events that necessitated Speaker Muturi to issue a stern warning way before the start of the parliamentary debate Thursday, following an attempt by Nyando Member of Parliament Fred Ota to grab the mace in order to paralyze the proceedings. On Thursday, it appeared the Speaker, who is a symbol of authority, was not safe in his own parliament. Neither was his deputy, Joyce Laboso, who was splashed with water. <laughs> the chaotic events in parliament mark the lowest point for the House and the office of the Speaker in recent years. This despite stringent standing orders that seek respect and authority for the Speaker. Part 18, Clause 102 states that any member speaking or offering to speak must resume his or her seat whenever the Speaker or the Chairperson of the Committee of the whole House arises to speak. But as the security law was passed on Thursday, this rule was blatantly ignored. Clauses 104 and 105 that require a member of parliament while in the house or committee to remain seated unless while making a contribution were disregarded as the house descended into chaos. Yet parliament's rules give the speaker powers to deal firmly with gross misconduct. Under section 107 of the standing orders, a member is considered to engage in gross misconduct if he or she creates actual disorder, knowingly raises a false point of order, uses or threatens violence against a member or any other person, commits any serious branch of these standing orders, and acts in any other way to the serious detriment of the dignity of the house. Penalties range from suspension for the remaining session or up to 28 sessions in which a member would lose his or her seat. Deputy Speaker Joyce Laboso has offered an olive branch. Despite having been showered yesterday, uh, <laughs> I can confirm that the clothes are now dry. And <laughs> Earlier today, the Speaker committed to speak to Citizen TV on the issues raised by critics on Monday. For now, the jury is still out as to who takes responsibility for the chaos witnessed on Thursday. Alex Kubasu, Sunday Live.